Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demo of another Spring Boot application and this is a web application and name as a student management system. There are lots of features and functionalities are there and it's a major project. So let's talk about the technical details about the application first and then we'll check the demo. So it's using MVC architecture, the first thing and it's the backend is managing by the Spring Boot. Uh, for the front end, it's using JSP and JPA like uh, for to manage the database transaction. Data is stored into the database. So here is the table, and these are the table attendance classes, fees, mark sheet, uh, subject, and user. And there are three types of user into the application. One is an admin, student, and faculty. We'll see. Uh, we have a static user, so admin that can log in and add these other users. So I will show you the demonstration demonstration in a while. But in case you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp or mail or Skype. So we have complete remote support. So after configuration, uh, we will give the project in this condition. So after that, what you need to do, you just right click over there and how can you run in the application? So <clears throat> just open this first application or Java file, right click on it, go to run as run on the run it as a Java application and it's deployed over the Tomcat server. So it's uh, using uh, it's running uh, over the Tomcat, but I can see there is an error. Uh, error is starting to read on the application. Okay, I have to read on the application. I just stopped because the server was is already in running mode. So I just refresh it. I just read on it as a Java application. So you need to wait uh, until the server is start properly and then only you can start the application okay so uh, showing the port number is already in the u so i'm going to chase uh, i'm going to change my port number in case in your case you will face this issue and from the application to property file you can change the port number this port number is occupied by some other process that's what's giving me uh, that error i just change the port number and uh, run it again and now uh, when I change the port number 90 to 92 automatically it will start the server and we don't need to run it again so automatically it will start the server and it will run over the 9092 okay let's move to the port the browser uh, where the application will run and we'll check how we can run it so this is my context part of the application so this is running on 9092 so I just open my browser and change my port number as in 9092 i entered my context path here and i can see it i can see it this is a welcome screen for the uh, project so here you can see this is a static page home page uh, that is there and the login option so in this, uh, this is a static page. Uh, when we click on the login, we will get the multiple login options of the, uh, over there. So the first user is an admin, and second is a student, and the faculty. So first, I will show you how we can log in as an admin and what are the operations that admin can perform. So here we have a login ID for the admin, and this is the password. So I'm just going to enter the login ID and the password for this admin user. I just hit the login button and you can see the multiple options are there so and as an admin I can add the, any user so I suppose I want to add a new user into the application or you can say that a student so I just need to select the role from here so I suppose I just select a student and um, uh, I think I need to uh, enter the valid data I just enter the dummy data but it's still we need to follow the simple validations so because it's using validation in the backend so uh, need a proper email id and a 10 digit phone number so i'm gonna just going to enter this number and the state is okay date of birth over the date of birth i need to data enter date of birth in this format so just suppose i'm going to enter 08 08 2000 and city is okay the state is okay school name is okay this is a dummy data i just add the user so user is registered successfully now if i check the user list i can check the list here the newly added user i can perform the search name uh, like search option here like search as a first name 
so I can search it by first name also I can perform search by login ID and reset option edit option is there I can edit the records and I can delete the options and then I can delete the records over there so delete options are there so this is complete crude operation for the <coughs> user section user is an important module of the application we'll see how what, what we can do after login by the user and after that we have a uh, like add class option so as an admin or as a faculty also i can add a new class so let's suppose i added a class added a class uh, let's suppose i just add a new class and enter the description about the class i just save it and i can check the list here like grade 12, 11 grade 12 and the new class that we just added it so again i can search it the class list by class name edit operation is there delete operation is there so <clears throat> other option we have another module to add a subject so i can add a new subject so let's suppose i enter the metadata as a new subject enter it and save it so another option we have add fees i suppose i want add fees for any student that the student can pay so these are the student list that is available in the database so for this demo user let's suppose i'm going to Add a fee for the next what the month is September. Let's say so. I enter the amount and the total fee. Total fee, let's suppose the total fee is 1000 and paid fee, let's suppose 500 balance fee 500. And I just enter the date and which date they're going to pay. I just click the save. I can check the list fee list here <clears throat> again i can perform the crude operation here and under that in in section i can assign this is the important section of the application important module so i can <clears throat> select a student let's suppose i select this test a student and i want to select a subject as a physics i want to select a grade as a 11 and i want to put attendance for the day uh, like third or fourth of october and I enter the title, text your title. I click on the save. Now I can check the list over there. <clears throat> so these are the users over there. And here I can confirm the attendance like this. Like how can I, um, like, there we have an option to assign a student uh, where a student can assign on a particular subject or particular class. And after that, those students will be displayed here. And I suppose I want to give attendance for this new two user that we have just added. So now these are not present uh, currently. So if I check it and I click on the present, it will mark as a present for the name is same. So if I make it absent, so I suppose I want to make it absent, so it will be absent of the particular date. Okay, so I can uh, mark the attendance from here. After that, we have a login option, my profile, change password, and the logout. <coughs> now. Uh, I'm going to log in again as a student and first let's see a quick see of a faculty what faculty can do so we have one record in the database as a faculty so I just enter the username login ID and the password for the faculty and I hit the login button I can check the mark sheet so as a faculty what I can do I can uh, add the faculty for uh, sorry mark sheet for any user so I just need to fill up this form select the student uh, enter the rule number and um, Mark in a physics, I suppose 54 and 67 and maths. I can save it. The mark sheet detail will be displayed here for that user. And after that, we have a detail like the subject list. As a, as, as a faculty, I can check the subject list, attendance list, and now after that, we have a fee list. So I can perform these many operations as an admin. So I can also filter the data accordingly this filter and and another common option my profile change password and log out now let's log in as a student and check what exactly student can do over there so i can log in here as a student and this is the password for the student i just enter the login button uh, first thing i can check my mass it so oh, these are the two lists to display the password file records as well Right as well, I can check the subject list, I can check attendance list, I can check the fee list, and this user will display only his face, face list because uh, this can't be see all the fee list of the of, of the all the students. Okay, so these are the features and functionality. Another common my profile and change password is there, and I hit the logout button and again.
again let me get to the home page so that's all about the demo about the student management system in a spring boot it's using a spring boot hibernate and uh, jsp uh, html and for the backend it's using mysql okay uh, and it's deployed over the tomcat server so and it will work like after configuration at your machine also if you are worried about like how you will set up the project so we have a remote team that's going to help us to run the application at your machine and it will work same as source in this demo so in case uh, you need the source code please connect if you are preparing for the interview you need a complete understanding of the application how the internal code is working and how what about this file structure will help you in that also so there are multiple services available please connect and thank you for watching